Well, we know you have plenty of questions about the vaccine, especially as it's being rolled out to more and more people. Dr. Frank me George back in to hear uh, some of your rapid or with some rapid fire answers to the rapid fire questions that keep being submitted through clickondetroit.com. Frank. We've received lots of questions, so let's just dive in and get started. A viewer heard from a friend that you should not drink alcohol the day before or after receiving the vaccine. Is that true? No, there aren't any dietary restrictions, including to alcohol, that you need to consider with regard to the vaccine. I will say, though, just as a matter of common sense, excessive drinking before or after the vaccine will probably make any systemic side effects like a headache or body aches more unpleasant. Now, another viewer asks, what are the components of either vaccine that are worrisome for individuals having an allergic reaction? The vaccine ingredient that's being focused on as the most likely culprit behind the severe allergic reactions is polyethylene glycol. That chemical is necessary to maintain the outer coating of the mRNA, allowing it to get into cells and produce spike protein. Polyethylene glycol is very common in medications, cosmetics, and even the laxative Muralax. Because of the concern, any known allergy to polyethylene glycol or a cross-reacting chemical, polysorbate, is a reason to not get the mRNA COVID vaccines. Now, another common question, how long will a vaccine keep you safe? Unfortunately, we don't know yet. The only way for us to find out is to continue to study it over time. Now, a viewer asks, why is the Pfizer vaccine recommended for people 16 years old and above, while Moderna is for people 18 years old and above? It seems oddly arbitrary, because it is. The age difference is simply related to the way the original study data that the manufacturers submitted to the FDA for emergency use authorization was collected. And notably, there was significant debate before the Pfizer vaccine's minimum age was made 16 instead of 18. And a final question, are the side effects different for the first and second dose? The answer is the side effects are the same for both doses, but they are significantly more common after the second dose because your immune system gets activated by the first dose. Also, the side effects are more common in people under 55 years old. Back to you.